is that you have to pay constantly normally for them. So in our system it's free. It uses your own mobile phone, which you have bonded or paired to your sync system previously, and initiates a 112 call with your own mobile phone. It works in over 30 countries in Europe. So um, we really have a diverse culture here in Europe, and we have a lot of languages and a lot of regions, even countries where you speak more than one language in one country. So we use GPS um, technology to determine the position of the car or where the accident happens and then choose the appropriate language to speak to the emergency responders. So, for example, if you guys or if somebody from France has an accident in Germany and doesn't speak German, we actually speak a message for him in German and help him perhaps to have a life-saving translation. Um, we will give out the GPS coordinates in German and help the emergency responders to find the person even though if he cannot speak or doesn't speak the language of the country. So as I said, we use GPS, we use the airbag sensors, um, so the actual restraint systems to determine if a crash has happened, and um, we use the user's Bluetooth enabled mobile phone. It doesn't have to be a smartphone, it can be a pretty old phone. Um, normally, nearly every phone is equipped with Bluetooth and can be paired with Sync, and can be used with all the voice activated features of Sync and also with emergency assistance, obviously. So one of the key features um, and one of the big advantages of using a mobile phone instead of an embedded solution is that a user, if an accident happened and he has to leave the car, he actually can take his mobile phone with him and continue to talk to the emergency operators and describe the situation um, other than having to be in the car to communicate to the emergency operators. So you can take your phone with you in an accident and talk, go on talking. So when we do activate the call, um, a big problem for emergency operators is always false calls, burdensome calls. So if you have a button in your car, it's always um, very dangerous that you get pressed in a situation where it's no real emergency, like a breakdown or something similar. So we um, use two important technologies to initiate a call. One is the airbag deployment. So whenever you get in an accident where an airbag gets deployed, we do initiate a call. And the second is the emergency fuel pump shutoff. So for some rear accidents, for example, you won't get an airbag deployed, but the fuel pump will get cut off so to prevent um, free fuel from getting into the engine furthermore. And so we use these two triggers to really initiate the call. Um, the call itself will happen basically in five steps. So you got your phone paired to your car, you get into an accident, um, in the event of an accident, we pinpoint the location, which is shown in one, we pinpoint the location via GPS and determine the language spoken in the country. Now, in the second step, Sync will speak a voice prompt. You will see all of this later in the demonstration, by the way. So, Sync will speak a prompt to the vehicle occupant and tell him that he's going to place an emergency call. So, in situations where you don't want to place an emergency call, you can cancel the call. You have an amount of time long enough to cancel the call and just um, basically do nothing. Um, if you don't cancel the call, Sync will start in 112 call from your mobile phone and um, give also the operator the chance to see your mobile phone number and um, pinpoint your location not only with GPS but also with normal mobile phone services. And um, also, of course, call you back in case the connection gets lost somehow. So after we connected to the emergency operators, we speak the language uh, we speak the message in the local language, um, which is a very helpful service, especially in um, the part of the world where we are here. There are so many different languages. Um, this language not only is in the local, uh, this message is not only in the local language, but also includes the GPS information of the crash. So um, even though um, in situations where a person could be unconscious or unable to speak of any reason, um, we would um, transmit the GPS coordinates and help the emergency responders to find that accident and help the people as fast as possible.